Hey, 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 it's Caramel Real, guys. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Today is Friday. Y'all glad it's Friday? I'm glad it's Friday. We have some tea for you guys. Some more tea. Y'all got a lot of tea this week. Y'all should be so full. But guess what? We're going to keep giving it to you. We're going to keep giving it to you and giving it to you and giving it to you. Okay? We have some very, very interesting tea today. Okay, for, for you guys who uh, know who Todd and Julie Christie are. Okay, we're going to speak on them just a bit today. We're going to put their business in these streets, in these YouTube streets, honey. All right. So I'm going to be all merging all in these lanes in these YouTube streets, honey, with this tea today. So I might spill a little bit. So y'all just be patient with me. Okay. Because when I get to driving in these streets spilling this tea, honey, we get tea all over the place. So y'all just bear with me. All right. Again, like I said, I am Caramel Real. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Caramel Real Show. Guys, we have, hey, we have so much tea, as I said before. Please go ahead and like, subscribe to this channel, okay? Because y'all know, y'all know it's the bomb over here. It's the bomb over here. We act a fool over here, okay? Dishing out this tea. Go ahead and uh, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, Yeah, thank y'all for, for joining us today. Happy Friday. Yeah, moving on. So, as I said, we're going to talk about Todd and Julie Christie today, guys. Mm -hmm. They were found guilty, all right, of tax evasion and bank fraud, honey. That's all federal. So, you already know that Fed time about to hit real different, right? Mm -hmm. You don't be playing out here in these streets with the feds, baby, because that's going to get you to clank, clank. That's all I'm saying. You're not about to go in there for 30 days and go home, honey. No, 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 no. That's a whole lot of damn bologna sandwiches, baby, when you messing with the feds, okay? I don't know if they eat bologna, but, baby, you about to eat it real soon. And you probably ain't going to get no damn cheese on it either. I'm just saying. You're going to be all up in that orange. You about to be in the flip-flops, baby. They about to bust you down, Okay? Because you out here playing with the feds, baby. You can't be out here. Tax fraud. Tax evasion and bank fraud. Hey. Y'all. I don't know what they were thinking, baby. Let's get into this tea. I'm, I'm, I'm about to. We about to spill this, honey. Because I got, I got to get this out. Because this is juicy, honey. All right. Yeah. So it says Todd and Julie Chrisley, okay, were found guilty on a laundry list, okay, of charges. All right. According to um, the courts, okay, in Georgia, um, we're told that their accountant, Peter Tarantino, okay, was also found guilty on related charges, including aiding and abetting the filing of false tax returns. What was he thinking? Okay. Because they're coming to get you too, bro. They got some, somebody already making your bologna sandwich as we speak right now. Not now, but right now. Okay. Yeah. As of now, a sentencing date has not been scheduled for them, okay? So the Chrisleys will remain at home detention until that hearing, okay? That's that privilege right there, y'all. Because y'all know Lauren Hill and all. They done locked Lauren Hill and uh, uh, Wesley Snipes right on up. They ain't get to stay home and wait for no sentencing, honey. They went right on in there and, and got their little sandwiches and their flip-flops. They ain't, they ain't have to wait at home. Right. So it says it's reported that they could face up to 30 years behind bars. Baby. 30 years of baloney. I, I, I don't know if I could, I, I don't know if I could be about that life. That baloney life, huh? But yeah. Says that Todd's lawyer, Bruce Morris, okay, is saying we're very disappointed in the verdict and we plan to appeal. Well, I don't know what you about to appeal, baby. When the IRS done uh went through that paperwork and saw that you done have fraudulent stuff put on that paperwork, baby. And you done filed that stuff. So now, like how you gonna appeal something where uh you pretty much been found guilty like that. You don't play around with the IRS. You know. The only thing that's about to be peeled probably is going to be your scalp in prison, baby. If they don't put you in probably solitary where you solitary confinement where you in there by yourself in a cell, honey. Because there's some fools in there. 30 years? 30 years of running from folk? 30 years of bologna sandwiches? 30 years of push-ups? Can Todd even do push-ups? Poor Julie, child, they ain't going to have no lashes in there. You ain't going to have no uh, no makeup team, none of that up in there, honey. You gonna They're going to probably go on and braid you back, 
probably the first day when you go in there, you're probably going to get braids the first day. I'm just saying. So, yeah. You're probably going to go in and part it down the middle. One braid right here, one braid right here. And, yeah. Yeah, girl. Mm. Yeah. It's going to be one of those love after, love during lockup, not love after lockup, honey. Because 30 years, that's going to be during. But moving on. Uh, yeah. So, it says that um, pretty much the story was broke back in 2019. Um uh, with prosecutors claiming that they defrauded bank by obtaining millions of dollars in loans. <laughs> the U.S. Attorney's Office also said they cheated the government by actively evading federal income taxes. Now, that's what Lauren Hill and, and West Snipes went to jail for. Y'all ain't learned nothing from them, huh? Moving on. According to the indictment, Todd worked with a partner to make it look like one of his bank accounts had $4 million when they actually didn't even have an account at the bank at the time. How you do that? How it looked like you got four million and you ain't got four million. That's a lot of money to be looking like when you're broke. Moving on. All right. So it says when they actually didn't have the funds at the time. All right. So it also says the feds said that Todd emailed his partners. Okay. And said to him, you are fucking genius. Okay. Pretty much like a high five. Like, oh, child, you, you don't pull this four million off. Said, I got four million. I got four million. Oh, child, you don't high five. You is effing genius. All right. Uh, just make it show four million. Okay, that's what Todd told told the uh, guy. He said, just make it look like it's four million, and his stupid ass did it. Uh, so he said the because you know they're reality stars. Todd and Julie Chrisley, they had this little reality show, child, with their family. All right. So it says the reality stars stuck to their guns, claiming they did nothing wrong but admitted they knew the charges were coming their way. You did nothing wrong, but you knew the charges were coming your way. So what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Sound like you're still doing some crazy stuff. Yeah. It, it, it's about to be some serious jail time, y'all, for them too. Four million. My thing is this, when you start defrauding the bank, like I said, anything bank related that's that's not legit legit you are dealing with federal time okay just know this and if you're in that much debt to where you got to be defrauding and doing things that you know is going to land you in a place where you don't want to be you may want to rethink that and then you have your attorneys and, and 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 accountants and everybody trying to get involved and high-fiving folks telling them they are uh, effing genius for out here helping you defraud the government like they're looking at Fed time as well. So not only are you getting yourself in deep sh but you getting other folk, child, out here with bologna sandwiches and braids to the back and flip-flops too. And we ain't even gonna talk about the orange jumpsuit. Like y'all, it's crazy out here, crap tie Chrisley. What y'all think about this news, my God? Who would have thought? When I watched, I watched a few episodes of their show. They just seemed like a very down-home Southern family. Caucasian family at that. Like, who would have known that Todd Chrisley would be into the fraud in the government, y'all, or his wife? They just seemed like two Caucasian people that were on the up and up, but I guess you just never know with people. You just never know. You never know. The one that you think is on the up and up, baby, is on the down and down as it relates to these two right here. Because I, when I saw this story, honey, I was shocked and appalled. I said, oh, child, let me, let me clench my pearls. Don't let me break my pearls, Lord. Woo! I had to I had a woosaw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had to do one of those. Because, baby, you don't be doing no bank fraud and tax evasion. Tax evasion alone. You better ask Lauren Hill. Child, she was home sitting there with playing her guitar, singing. Cause nothing even matters. And the feds done knocked on her door and said, yeah, it do matter. Put that damn guitar down. And come with us. Because you done, you ain't filed no tax returns in years. So guess what? Guess what matters? That damn bologna sandwich about to matter because you about to go to jail. Now put the guitar down and let's go. Same thing with Wesley Snipes. Mm -hmm. Ain't filed no taxes, honey. And then when out there was on the set out there, you know, out there on the Blade set out there. Y'all remember the movie Blade out there with his with his long trench coat on and his uh sword out there, child, trying to do all that karate? They said, put the nunchucks down. 
Whistly and come with us. Don't be out here. Whoa, don't try it. Put the nunchucks down. You ain't filed no taxes in years. Guess what? We got a blade for you. You're going to see a lot of blades where you're going. Okay? It's a lot of blades and shanks where you're going. So I hope you got them skills up from your movie right here that you're filming. Because you're going to need them where you're going. Okay? Go on in there and get your, get your push-ups. Okay? Get your push-ups going. Get your kicks going. You got your kicks right. Because they're going to be after you. They know you, Wesley Snipes. They done saw you in all these movies. So you better get your kicks and your karate chops. You better make sure them. You better all up like the Tin Man on uh, <laughs> what's the movie? I'm tripping. You better do like Tin Man and all it up, honey. Cause yeah, <laughs> okay. Cause they gonna be after you, Wesley, honey. I hope you got them karate moves in order. Yeah, and them Chrysler's, honey. Y'all, y'all better start since y'all home. I, I'm, I'm assuming y'all y'all living in this huge million dollar home. Y'all better. I hope y'all got a gym in there. Y'all might want to go ahead and start skip maybe skipping some rope, maybe some push ups might be good. Some sit ups. Um, probably want to go ahead on and um take some martial arts classes. You know before they go and call y'all into the cell, go and take some martial arts classes. Okay, some 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 you know get Billy Blanks over there. Is he still doing it? Billy Blanks get him over there and y'all get some Tybo and all that going on. You know, don't be over there. Don't be sitting over there watching TV and chilling out. Y'all got to start working out. You got to get your muscles built up where y'all going. Because that's 30 years of fighting and child. Mm, I don't know. What y'all think about this story, child? I, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to sign on out because, honey, I can't take it no more. Woo. Let me check my blood pressure, Lord. Mm. Yeah. I got to go, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning into my channel. This is the Caramel Rail Show. I am Caramel Rail. Thank y'all so much. Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Thank y'all so much. Happy Friday again. We will be back with more tea in a few. Bye.